Can you imagine how today's world would be like without people actively finding ways to make all of our lives better? We'd probably be still living in the Dark Ages. We won't be stuck there, though, as there are a lot of important discoveries that have been made completely accidentally, and those are what we're going to be talking about today. Here are 15 amazing discoveries found by complete accident. Number 15. Microwaves. Yes, the appliance that is now a staple in almost every kitchen across the world was made possible by an accidental discovery. Back in the 1940s, Percy Spencer was working on a radar-related project. While testing a new vacuum tube, he noticed that the peanut butter cluster bar in his pocket, not a chocolate bar as some would have you believe, had melted more rapidly than expected. Intrigued, he started aiming the tube at other objects, like eggs and popcorn kernels, to see what would happen. After they too became heated, he concluded that microwave energy could have a new interesting application, which is mostly reheating leftovers nowadays. Number 14. Blasting Gelatin You may have heard that Alfred Nobel, the guy the Nobel Prize was named after, invented dynamite. Now that isn't actually true though. He was, however, responsible for inventing an explosive just as powerful as dynamite, but carried a lot less risk of exploding when you nudge it. It's called blasting gelatin, and although this discovery wasn't made by accident, it was actually caused by accident. Confused? Well, let me explain. To develop the explosive, Nobel combined nutracellulose and nitroglycerin, but the two wouldn't stick together. Then one day, he cut his finger on a broken piece of glass, and he used collodion to cover the cut. That night, he couldn't sleep from the pain on his finger, so he stayed up pondering his problem. Then the solution hit him. Use collodion to bond the two explosive ingredients, and it worked. Number 13. Play-Doh Play-Doh wasn't initially invented to be a child's plaything. Its inventor, Noah McVicker, had more practical reasons, which is to clean soot from the walls of houses that have fireplaces. However, the introduction of easily cleanable vinyl water made his invention an utter failure. Fortunately, a school teacher named Kay Zafal came up with another use for the product. She had heard that kids could make decorations out of the wallpaper cleaner, so she tried it in class and her students absolutely loved it. When McVickers heard of this, he quickly removed the detergent from his formula and added coloring. It was Zufal who suggested the name Play-Doh, which in hindsight definitely worked much better compared to McVickers' Cattol's Rainbow Modeling Compound. Number 12. X-Rays Wilhelm Rottengen, professor of physics in Würzburg, Bavaria, discovered X-rays in 1895, accidentally while testing whether cathode rays would pass through glass. His cathode tube was covered in heavy black paper, so he was surprised when an incandescent green light nevertheless escaped and projected onto a nearby fluorescent screen. Through experimentation, he found that the mysterious light would pass through most substances but leave shadows of solid objects. Because he did not know what the rays were, he then called them X, meaning unknown rays. For his discovery, he was given the first ever Nobel Prize in Physics in 1901. Unfortunately, his discovery might have actually caused his death. He passed away due to colorectal cancer in 1923. Number 11. Teflon. Teflon, that non-stick coating at the bottom of your frying pan, was discovered by Roy Plunkett. Plunkett was an employee of the DuPont's company Jackson Laboratory in 1938 when he started researching new refrigerants. One substance that Plunkett experimented with was tetrafluorothylene, or TFE gas. When he returned to open a cylinder he'd stored this gas in, he was surprised that the TFE had polymerized to form a mysterious white powder inside the container. Curious, Plunkett conducted some experiments and found that the powder was not only heat resistant, but it also had low surface friction and was inert to corrosive acids, ideal for cooking ware. Number 10. Superglue When Harry Cooper Jr. first discovered the substance that would become superglue, he was actually experimenting with clear plastic gun sights for use in World War II. He'd been playing around with a glass of chemicals called acrylites, but found that the formula he came up with was too sticky and abandoned the substance. Years later, in 1951, Cooper was again looking at acrylates, this time for use in a heat-resistant coating for jet cockpits. One day, his colleague Fred Joyner spread one of the acrylite compounds between two lenses to examine it with a refractometer. To his dismay, he found that the two lenses stuck together and couldn't be separated, a waste of expensive lab equipment. Or so he thought. This time around, Cooper saw the potential in the sticky substance, and several years later, it finally went on the market as an adhesive we know today as superglue. Number 9. Velcro in 1948, the Swiss engineer and amateur mountaineer went hiking in the woods with his dog. 
Upon arriving back at his home, he took note of the burrs that clung to his clothes and wondered if such an idea could be used in commercial application. He studied a burr under a microscope only to discover that they were covered in tiny hooks, which allowed them to grab onto clothes and fur that brushed in passing. After more than eight years of research and work, he created what is now known today as Velcro, a combination of the words velvet and crochet. Weirdly enough, Velcro became a household name because of NASA. In the 1960s, Apollo astronauts used Velcro to secure all manner of devices in space for easy retrieval. Number 8. Quinine Quinine is an anti-malarial compound that originally comes from tree bark. Now, we usually find it in tonic water, though it's still used in drugs that treat malaria as well. But did you know it was discovered by complete accident? The original tale involved a feverish Andean man lost in the jungle and suffering from malaria. Parched, he drank from a pool of water at the base of a kina kina tree. The water's bitter taste made him fear that he drank something that would make him sicker, but the opposite happened. His fever abated, and he was able to find his way home and share the story of the curative tree. Now, there isn't any way to fact check this story. It was actually the Jesuits missionaries in South Africa that are given credit to discovering this medicine. However, it is believed that they came to know about quinine because of the above legend. Number 7. The Pacemaker this tiny lifesaver has extended the lives of millions around the world, so it's very surprising to know that it was accidentally invented because of a wrong spare part. In 1956, Wilson Great Batch was building a heart rhythm recording device. He reached into a box for a resistor to complete the circuitry, but pulled out the wrong one which wasn't quite the right size. He still installed it though, and while testing, he noticed that the circuit emitted electrical pulses. It made him think of the timing of the heartbeat. Great Batch had already suspected that electrical stimulation might be able to stimulate the circuitry of the heart if there was some kind of breakdown there. This new device made him think it might be possible to create a version small enough to actually provide this stimulation. He began to shrink his device and on May 7, 1958, a version of his pacemaker was successfully inserted into a dog. Number 6. Viagra Yes, this tiny blue pill that is the go-to medicine for erectile dysfunction was a result of an accident. In fact, it was the first treatment developed for the condition. However, it wasn't really meant to wake up a man's, uh, <laughs> manhood. In fact, it was, in the immortal words of Bob Ross, a happy little accident. But Pfizer introduced the chemical sildenafil, the active drug in Viagra, as a heart medication. It didn't really work that well, but men noted that the medication seemed to cause another effect stronger and longer-lasting erections. Pfizer conducted clinical trials on 4,000 men with erectile dysfunction and saw the same results. Thus, a failure became a mm, massive success, if you know what I'm saying. Number 5. Cornflakes. This breakfast staple enjoyed by millions all over the world actually came about by an accident in the kitchen back in 1894. One day, John Kellogg and his brother William put some wheat on to boil, but they accidentally left it cooking too long. When they finally did take it out the stove and tried to roll it out into dough, the wheat instead separated into flakes. The brothers discovered they could bake these into a crispy snack. After some experimentation, they found that the same effect could be achieved using corn instead of wheat, and the recipe for corn flakes was born. Number 4. Safety Glass Safety glass is one of those discoveries that is so integrated into our daily lives, we almost forget that it's there. But without it, things like car windshields and safety goggles wouldn't be possible. And believe it or not, its discovery was all because of clumsiness. In 1903, Edward Benedictus, a French scientist, dropped a glass flask that had been filled with a solution of cellulose nitrate. Cellulose nitrate is more like a liquid plastic. It broke and the liquid evaporated, and yet it didn't shatter. The pieces of glass were broken, but they stayed in place and maintained the shape of the container. Upon investigation, Benedictus realized that somehow the plastic coating had helped the glass stay together. Number 3. Saturin Sweet and Low, or Saturin, was discovered by chance in 1878 by Constantine Fagelberg. He wasn't really looking for a super sweet sugar substitute. He was actually working an analysis of coal tar at the Johns Hopkins University lab of Ira Remsen. After forgetting to wash his hands one day and picking up a roll to eat, he noticed that it tasted unusually sweet. He then started tasting, as you do, some of the other compounds he created. He then found that if you combined osulfobenzoic acid with phosphorus chloride and ammonia, it would create something very, very sweet. He then filed for a patent in 1884. Now it's time for the day's best pick. 
Today's pick involves the most iconic mobile phone of our rider's generation, the indestructible Nokia 3310. It was released all the way back in the year 2000, but that photo on the left seems to dispute that. Reportedly dug out from an unspecified archaeological site, the clay tablet carved to look like the 3310 looks so old, the numbers on the keypad are actually cuneiform, the script used by ancient Babylonians. So, does this mean that the ancient Babylonians used mobile phone thousands of years before us? Well, not quite. The clay phone is actually an art piece dubbed the Babylonokia made by Carl Weingartner. Weingartner created the word to represent the evolution of information transfer from the ancient world to the present, which I will admit is pretty clever. But moving on, number two, gunpowder. While trying to discover, of all things, a potion of immortality, Chinese alchemists of the Tang Dynasty accidentally discovered saltpeter, the main ingredient of gunpowder. Upon further examination, saltpeter was combined with charcoal and sulfur. While this combination did not grant everlasting life, it did have excellent flammable and explosive properties when ignited. Gunpowder was initially used by the Chinese for fireworks. However, gunpowder was used for war as early as 904 AD, marking the beginning of a long and deadly history of gunpowder. What was meant to be a potion of life would eventually become the main ingredient for death. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Penicillin Yes, penicillin was discovered by accident. Alexander Fleming was experimenting with the influenza virus in London. He was right in the middle of his research when he suddenly decided to go on vacation. He then came back to work a full two weeks later, and when he had returned to work, he found that a mold had developed on an accidentally contaminated Staphylococcus culture plate. Upon examination of the mold, he noticed that the culture prevented the growth of Staphylococci. The rest, as they say, is history. Penicillin became a huge success and was used to treat all sorts of maladies previously thought untreatable. And just to emphasize how it changed human lives forever, this happy accident is still being used to this day. Not bad for something that came out during the 20s. Which of these accidental discoveries do you think have made the most impact in modern society? Let us know down below in the comments. Also, make sure to check out the channel's other amazing content. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody!